The High Commission of India in Sri Lanka celebrated India's 75th Republic Day in Colombo yesterday. A ceremonial reception in line with India's Republic Day was organized at India House. The reception was attended by former presidents Gotabe Rajapaksa, Mahind Rajapaksa and Maitri Palasiri Sena, opposition leader Sajid Premadasa, ministers and MPs of the government of Sri Lanka, members of diplomatic corps, members of the clergy and others. Speaking at the event, High Commissioner of India to Sri Lanka, Santosh Jha, spoke about India-Sri Lanka economic partnership and connectivity. Our growing national capabilities are also reflected in our foreign policy. Our domestic vision is also driving our neighborhood-first policy. Our Sagar policy, which seeks security and growth for all in the region, is at the heart of our approach towards Sri Lanka. India has reaffirmed itself as a trusted and reliable partner of Sri Lanka. The vision document adopted by our leaders in July 2023 seeks to build a stronger economic partnership with connectivity at its central theme. We have started daily flights between Jaffna and Chennai and launched ferry services between India and Sri Lanka. We are working on building mechanisms to establish the India-Sri Lanka connectivity corridor. We are also advancing multiple energy initiatives. These include the power grid connectivity, eventually to enable Sri Lanka to export power to India. The multi-product pipeline, which will boost our shared interest in developing Trincomalee as an economic hub. And we're also working to set up virtual LNG pipeline from Kochi to Colombo to bring down electricity costs in Sri Lanka. There are other clean energy initiatives in the private sector, as well as the one by the NTPC in Sampur. We hope to enhance our economic partnership and enhance Sri Lanka's export potential through early conclusion of economic and technology cooperation agreement. We are working on the projects for solar electrification of religious places across Sri Lanka, assisting in modernization of Sri Lanka railways, constructing houses for the poor, enhancing Sri Lanka's health and education infrastructure, and engaging in ports and airports development. We are working on the unique digital identity project in Sri Lanka. In all of this, India's priorities are determined by Sri Lanka's needs and aspirations, and that too, principally of its citizens. Friends, India and Sri Lanka are natural partners. We are, if I may say so, irreplaceable, indispensable, and inseparable as partners. Our interest in matters of security and development are interlinked and intertwined. Chief guest of the event, Minister Harin Fernando, also spoke at the event. Learning about the Aadhaar card, which is the Digital India Initiative, and I think we are absolutely late on this particular initiative. Thank you so much for mentioning about the Digital Initiative and supporting a unique identification number for Sri Lanka so that our economy also will be much more disciplined. What Sri Lanka today needs is a disciplined economy, and I'm sure we can learn a lot from India. The 15 months ago, Sri Lanka was in dire straits, but it's good to see Sri Lanka standing on its own, and Sri Lanka is a resilient nation. Thanks to India for all of the support from the government of Sri Lanka, from the people of Sri Lanka. Let me wish you all success at the 75th independence. Kumisha, the winner of India's Sarigamapa Lil Champs, performed at the event. Oh.